Welcome, as usual, to the Geek Lab, located here in Digby's darkest county Durham in the UK. And today we're going to do something different. First thing that's different is, I'm going to put my tea down. <gasps> Scary! And I'm going to pick up today's review, which is this system, the Ultra 8 Video Game. Not video game system, video game apparently. And it's an action set. Yes, because they do a version where no action happens also. Amazing that, must review that one. It also has something that's really high tech. Digital stereo sound. <gasps> As compared to those systems like the Atari where you have to put on a, uh, a vinyl and listen to your, your sounds through that. Yes. This was very kindly donated to me by Sasha Newman, who is on Facebook, and also goes by Avenies Game Room on YouTube. Her link below. Go check him out. Good channel, good videos, good fellow. And uh, let's start by looking at what's in this box. Right, here we are with the Ultra 8 bit video. Not quite, that's me. Keep get up the shut. Okay. Here we are with the Ultra 8-bit video game system and it's already irritating me because I'm going to put the camera quite high to uh, get it all in shot which means I'm right down here looking at a little screen way up there. But let's get crack on with this. Now you'll notice that it claims, claims, to have <clears throat> dazzling 3D graphics. This is going to dazzle me. Yes, I'm going to be excited beyond reproach. <gasps> I'm going to geek out and have a nerd gun. Spectacular colour! It's 8-bit. Um, digital stereo surround as a part of, from uh, analog uh, digital sorry stereo sound as you get when you listen to a vinyl as you do with other systems but I've done that already. High-tech controller. Yes, I'll be the judge of that. Uh, contain, not contains, contain, console, oh yeah, uh, console, console 8 bit, something like that, two high tech joy pad, pistol, no commas or anything, so it's two high tech joy pad pistol, so we've got two high tech, well, let's, let's read it as they want to see it, we've got two high tech joy pads and a pistol, and it's like, Pistol at the end, you know. It's not a high tech pistol, it's just a crappy pistol we're stuck in, so we're not going to claim that's high tech. Right, yes. Includes 84 games. And guess what? Made in China! Sad Onion, nor to 3. Right, what do we have on the back? Let's have a look, shall we? Same gump on there. Same basic gump on there. Same gump on there. Same no expense spared here in, in development. And on the back. Hey! Same gump again. Is it exactly the same? Oh no. Oh, this is the back. This is the front. Because the back has the extra expense of printing that bit. It is precisely the same on uh, both sides. Oh dear. Anywho, let's have a look what we get inside. We've been told what we get inside, but let's confirm it. Open the box and witness its glory. Okay, tin upside down. Okay. It comes complete with tray and everything you require for spectacular so it, sorry, for dazzling 3D graphics and spectacular colour. Box flying! Whee! Okay, we have 84 in one game list. Let's have a look at this. Just for a laugh. Zoom in for you. Mm, I'll put it there. We'll zoom in, shall we? Okay, let's see what we got. We have 80 days, 1942. Yep, if that's there, then we're not going to complain too much. Arkanoid, yeah. Aladdin 3, Discland, Badminton. Oh dear. Boom Man, Lush Roller, Clay Shoot, yeah. I don't know that thing. Uh, Galaga, Galaxians, Road Fighter. I've been marked out for our consideration. I can't remember if I did that or it was done before. It's got Xevious apparently and Zippy Race. So if it does have these things and it turns out to be decent, you can't complain really. 
too much. Such as this would not have cost anywhere near as much as the systems, but this is a much later system than the 8-bit system. So let's see what we've got. Shall we start with the high-tech controllers? Go on then. <coughs> he said wittily. Yes, these are the controllers. Uh, got a few burn marks on them. I don't know what's been going on there. And yeah, to be honest, they're not too bad actually. Wobble a little bit, but the buttons feel good. These buttons feel decent. And the joypad, it feels decent. So we're off to a good start. Amazing. And they have your generic thing. I don't know if they work with other consoles, but it'll be interesting to find out. But that's your high tech joypad. Uh, I wouldn't say it's high tech, but I'd say it's going to do the job. There's a second one in there. I am not going to bother getting that out. Okay, so I'll never use it. Right, we also have the gun. And you can see why they didn't put high tech, because this feels flimsy. Well, it doesn't feel flimsy, it's just very light. I wouldn't say it's... It's lighter than the Sinclair gun. But, once again... That's a decent click to it. The trigger feels decent. We may, I may try this if I can. I doubt it though. On the CRT monitor down there. See if it'll work with that. But I doubt it. Uh, see, if they, see if we can get this gun to work as well. Do an extra bit of footage for that. If it works. If not, it doesn't. Okay, we've got 84 in one cartridge. Probably not got the games on, it probably just activates it. Although it does have lots of contact tracks there, so they do not know. And the world's cheapest looking label. Although it is laminated, yay. Uh, what's this on the back here? Avoid exposing cartridge to extreme temperatures. <laughs> Power controller. Decent weight to it. Come out to China, so meh. Use it, you own risk. And the beast itself. <laughs> Which in no way, shape, means, or form looks at all like an N64, does it now? Not at all. Uh, it does have an extra slot there. Is that for the gun? Oh yes, the gun uses ele different electronics. Uh, again, yeah, there's probably just a tiny board in there. This feels not much heavier than the gun itself. Just a little bit heavier. There's not much in there. Hmm, uh, nice. Foil, cheap foil to make it look silver. Uh, normal screws, four little screws. I'll go TV game system. Well, you only find that out once you look at the bottom of the, the product. <laughs> That's nowhere written anywhere, apart from there. Amazing. Uh, audio, video, RF blanked for some reason. So, yeah, it's gonna have to, well, it should work with the CRT one for a quick game, which is good news. And the power and reset buttons, which feel decent enough. And it's nicely textured, so, and they've properly screen printed that. No cheap labels there. So, I'm not going to go take you through the setup of this, it's blindly bloody obvious. So, let's get plugged up to the big TV and play some normal games first. We'll be right back. Okay, we've got it set up on the TV, so let's switch it on and give it a whirl. Just out of interest, if you don't put the cartridge in, nothing happens at all. So, let's see. Uh, I do like the fact that the menu system is simple, it doesn't give you any irritating music or crappy graphics, it's just a list, which is nice. So, let's try with the well-known ones. 1942, one player, and let's see what you can do. Yep, looks like 1942 to me. I'm not sure about the sound. I'm not sure about the firing. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I'd say that the sound is, uh, even based on my limited knowledge of 1942, 
I'd say the sound is not quite original, but the gameplay, you know, this little play it seems to run fair enough. This is Arkanoid. Uh, maybe the frame rate's a little low, but I'm not sure on that. Whoa. Uh, yeah, the sounds, uh, even by my experience, they are very high pitched and. Yeah, strange things going on with the sound there. But the gameplay, yeah, it seems alright, the graphics seem alright. A few glitches going on at the top there, but there we go. Uh, let's reset and have a look at another game. Okay, I thought our second game has got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be Arkanoid. We'll see how it goes with this one. Yeah, the sound quality is not quite there. <laughs> Sounds like it's been strangled. But, I have to say, the gameplay is there on the controller. Yeah, the controller's playing well. If I was to heavily criticise it, I could say that the uh, the, the D-pad is a little bit stiff, but it does feel well made, uh, which is not something you can say about many of these systems. Yep, okay, Arkanoid seems to run fair enough, so we'll uh, we'll say good there. Same problems again, but there we go. Chuck and pop. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a shot at Dig Dug. See how that goes. That should test the colours and stuff of the system. Uh, right, let's go. Give me control for that player. Go for control. There we go. Right. Um, yep. Yeah. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing here. Aren't there usually things you have to dig up? I can't remember. Hmm. To be honest, I'm being shy. I don't know what am I supposed to be doing. Oh, the sound stops when you stop. I don't remember that in the original. I think I'm supposed to kill them, aren't I? Let's kill them anyway. Okay, we'll do that then. Two little buggers left. Ah, not sure what's going on there, but uh, it seems alright. Once again, sound was the other was the problem. Uh, Xevious here. I'll look at some of the regular games. Oh, a bit of a background. Uh, yes, you can see it on there. Background lines are a little bit. Bleh. This is not. Yeah, once again, the sound is very high. This is not a version of Xevious I've played before. Uh, yeah, this one's slightly different. Uh, I've played the C64 version. I've played played it on the Namco handheld. Uh, hmm. I've played it somewhere else. I can't remember at the moment. But yes, this one... This seems alright. Seems to play well. Uh, I like those landscapes at the back, better than some other versions, and the, uh, the targets you find that are actually smaller, I actually prefer them like this. So, yes, that one seems alright. The usual problem, the sound effects are too high up, high pitched, so, yes. Okay, Xevious is fair enough, let's go for Gallagher. Oh, I've gone the wrong way really. Uh, I might find something else on the way. Galaxians. Galaga. Let's test. How does it do? Galaga. One player. So this is purely, really, a NES clone. It's not... It doesn't try to do anything new. It just presents you with NES games to play on basically an emulator inside. Yeah, that's Galaga. Colours is a little bit off on this. Don't know, probably can't see on the screen, but they do appear a bit off. 
usual, usual thing with the uh, sound emulation is a bit high, but gameplay is fair enough. Controllers responding nicely. Oh dear, have I found a good nurse clone here? What's going on? Yep, Gallagher seems okay. Uh, one more, and then we'll try the gun. Let's just try something random. Uh, meh. You'll do. Oh no. <laughs> Jack and Pop, whatever that is. Jack and Pop, one player, two players. And they all seem to be... Oh god, what's this? Am I supposed to get that thing? Oh, I've just done a poo. I've just done another poo. And I've bombed myself. Just to just get through the maze or something? Uh, possibly. Yeah, I'm going to have people screaming at the screen. Hey, no, you do that. You're rubbish. Yes, I am rubbish. Oh, there's a heart down there. Let's get the heart. Do 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 do. Very strange controls on this game. Very strange. Oh, poo. Okay. Oh, it's gonna get me. I'm gonna get me. Uh. Okay, that's different. So these are purely NES games, so B-Wings, let's try that. And then we'll go on to have a look how well the gun works. B-Wings! One player, two player, continue. Okay, so what are we doing here? Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Okay, I've never played this before, I have no idea what's going on here. Ah, instead of the ship moving, the background moves. That's, uh, that's a bit different. That looks like quite a good game, actually. Hmm. So if you don't crash into things like I just did, because I'm an idiot. Hmm. I'm just listening to the sound on this one, I can imagine that this is pretty, uh, yeah. This is pretty high pitch compared to what it's supposed to be. I just go to the right and shoot everything on the side. There we go, because I'm nice like that. Oh, there's more things coming at me. Where did these things come from? Why do I shooting them mercilessly? I thought that might be a rocket or something. Mm. Well, in general, it's all quiet on the western front, mainly. Oh, here they come. The bad guy's coming. How do we know the bad guys? Just because they tell us the bad guys doesn't be they are, does it now? Okay, I'm enjoying this far too much. Way too much. Okay, that looks like a good game. <coughs> and in general, it seems a fairly decent for what it is in this game. Aimed at the cheap end of the market or for children. So, uh, let's check out the gun, shall we? Right, you'll have to excuse me, but uh, my CRT monitor is big, heavy, and stuck on the floor down there, so it's going to stay there. So, we've reset it, we have the gun hooked up, and let's see what this little baby can do. Let's find something <coughs> that is gun based. Start. Okey And... Wow! It looks like it's registering shots! Yes! I got something! It's working! Ah! Looks like I am killing them! Okay, uh... We've got two shots a thing by the looks of it. I'm sorry about the uh, the scrolling. I am sorry about the uh, the lines there on the monitor. Can't help that. Uh, doesn't happen in real life. Let's just do the. So that works. The gun does work and it is relatively accurate. Let's do the obvious test. I'm going to point this at a bulb and see if it still shoots them. Ready? Well, it registers a shot, but it doesn't register a hit, so it's passed that test. Let's try the extreme close-up test. Oh, so you can cheat with the extreme close-up. 
see if we can get maximum marks here. Yay! Oh, and that rubbish. I even get <laughs> you put it on the screen. I still get a bad score. How good is that? There we go. Ta da! So, let me just check on this if we have any other games relevant to this. Okay, I've been going through it for a bit and uh, I can't find any others. I haven't been through everything. I, I haven't got time to go through all that whole lot looking for shoot 'em up games. But, uh, yeah, the one that we did get to play seems to work well. So, the gun appears to work fine. Uh, there's loads of NES games on here that doesn't repeat them like other systems do. You actually get 84 different games, as far as I'm aware. Nice, including Load Runner. Load Runner's on there too. So, and Joust. So, if you come across one of these cheap and you want something for kids, or just something to mess around and play old games that's dirt cheap and comes with a physical controller, isn't, an emula isn't emulated on a PC, but stands alone for any reason, and you come across one of these and it's going cheap, <laughs> you can't do too bad. Ah, this is actually a NES clone that's actually half decent. So, yes, find it cheap, want to play these games? Don't mind the fact that it sounds a bit off. Then, go ahead. It's not too bad. So, thank you all. There. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy.